Could keto be the key to the fountain of youth? That's what we're gonna talk about today. So a couple weeks ago, Sarah and I came across an article that was published on December 21st, 2021, titled, This is how the keto diet affects aging, science says. Evidence suggests that the diet has anti-aging benefits for animals, which has implications for humans too. I'll be honest and say that um, I started keto not for the health benefits. I was obese most of my life and I wanted to be thin and that's all I cared about. I really didn't care how I got there most of the time. Of course, I would gain everything back and more over the past 20 years. And so keto to me was a means to an end. Most people start off doing keto for the same reason. They wanna lose weight. And I knew that I always felt better when I was on keto, but that really didn't mean much to me because, you know, I'm young, relatively young. I'm in really good health. I don't have any other underlying conditions or anything. And so for the most part, I did keto for a vanity thing. So while we didn't intend for this to be a lifestyle, it turned into one because we realized how much better we feel on keto and we know that that there are health benefits to it. There is such a marked difference in my life in all aspects when I eat this way. When I ate the other way, I never felt good. Emotionally, I never felt good physically, even though I don't have anything wrong with me physically. I just never felt that vibrance right. that I do when I live a ketogenic lifestyle. So while this started off as a vanity mission to be thin, it has turned into a lifestyle of which I know that we will be the rest of our lives. That being said, Sarah and I are the tender age of 37. We know that our audience is that age and up and so we care about aging and to me it's not just about looking young it's more about feeling young we come from a long lineage of people who lived well into their 90s who were active and so we are lucky in our genetics that that's the case there's more to life than looking young right so when we came across this article, it sprung interest in us, obviously, because who doesn't wanna be younger? So we're gonna talk about this today and we wanna see what you guys think about it. Are you experiencing any of these benefits that they're talking about? If so, please let us know below so we can all encourage each other. I know for me, when the scale stops moving, I feel like I lack motivation on how to keep going strong on my ketogenic lifestyle. So thinking back on other benefits other than weight loss is really helpful for me to keep going in the long term. That's another reason reason why we're bringing up other benefits for you guys so that you have some inspiration to keep going when the scale is not moving. So this article says the keto diet may help you lose weight. However, it turns out that there may be another reason to hop onto the food related trend. I don't like that already. It's not a trend. <laughs> when Medical News Today recently took a look at various diets and broke down how effective they are when it comes to fighting aging, they found that the keto diet may have some intriguing and promising benefits when it comes to keeping you healthier for longer. Pointing to two studies from 2017, Medical News Today noted that both reported that a low carbohydrate, low protein ketogenic diet increased the average lifespan of mice and improved the animal's health in old age. The first study, which was published in the Cell Metabolism Journal, that's a magazine just about cell metabolism, found that long-term exposure to a ketogenic diet fed every other week, starting in the middle age, reduces midlife mortality and preserves memory in aging mice. They're just trying to point out yeah. that these studies are both done on mice, obviously, and not humans. So the second study, which also appeared in the Cell Metabolism Journal, researchers found that the keto diet not only extends longevity, but also preserves motor function, memory, and muscle mass in animals. I find it funny that, it's not funny, but that the ketogenic lifestyle or diet or way of eating is so alien to people. They're doing animal studies based on things that are literally the easiest things for us to consume. But to me, it's kind of absurd that something so natural as eating meat, fat, and green or leafy veg is considered so alien that we need to do studies on it. We have a lot of new subscribers and we know that there are people that are just new to keto, they're fresh to keto. And Sarah and I always say that if you want to find success to keep it as simple as possible, that means eating whole nutritious food and keeping it simple. And one of the ways that you can keep it simple is by trying Factor, who happens to be the sponsor of this video. Factor has been sponsoring videos on our channel for about six months now. And they reached out to us six months ago and said, hey, do you wanna try our meals? We only really talk about products and companies that we really love on our channel. We're really picky. And so we said, fine, we'll try the meals. And we didn't realize how much we were going to love these meals. Sarah and I do a lot of cooking for this channel. 
and it's tedious. And so a lot of the time we love the simplicity of getting the box from Factor at our door every week of meals that we've chosen and popping it into the microwave and then eating it. There's no cleanup, there's no preparation. And it's not that they just only offer keto food. They also offer meat, seafood, veggie based dishes and preferences that include keto, calorie smart and chef's favorites. Even if other people in your household are not keto, they can find something that's absolutely delicious too. We eat Factor for some of the week and then the other part of the week we're actually cooking and it makes cooking even more enjoyable because you're not doing it every day and you're not cleaning up every day. So if you're interested in trying Factor, you can get $120 off over your first five weeks by visiting the link in the description and by using code KETOTWINS120. Thank you so much to Factor for continuing to sponsor videos on our channel and thank you to you guys for supporting our sponsors. So back to this article, a professor from Stony Brook University led a 2020 study that also backed up the idea that a diet that is low in carbs may prevent brain related issues that are caused by aging. The good news is, is that we may be able to prevent or reverse these effects with diet, mitigating the impact of encroaching hypometabolism by exchanging glucose for ketones as fuel for neurons. Sarah and I are not uh, medical professionals. Even though I have watched Grey's Anatomy at least nine times through the entire series, I can only tell you from our personal experience that we feel the most clear minded, is that even a word? I'm yeah. seeing I'm talking like this now. Clarity. I feel the most, not clairvoyant. I feel the best when I'm eating a keto lifestyle. I work better. I think clearer when I'm eating a ketogenic lifestyle. So this is not shocking to me. I've also read that doctors are now referring to Alzheimer's as type three diabetes, which makes a lot of sense if you think about how glucose affects the brain and maybe that has something to do with Alzheimer's, who knows? Really, I do suffer from anxiety and I definitely feel better when I'm on keto. Keto diets play an important role in reducing amyloid plaques and can also reverse their neurotoxicity, resulting in increased memory. And so we also found an article on Perfect Keto's website and it says here, ketosis for longevity. They have a really great article. We're gonna link this one below. It talks about ketosis and the mitochondria of cells. And if you didn't know, the mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cells. And so if you can affect the powerhouse, you affect your cells in a good way. My father, who is a forensic chemist, would die if he heard me talking like this. That's the only thing I remember from biology is the mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. We needed, we should have paid attention more when our dad was talking to us about this stuff. If he was watching this, he'd probably be like, one theory regarding longevity is that the key to living longer lies in taking care of our mitochondria as they are responsible for energy production in our cells. Being in ketosis is known to have hugely beneficial effects on the function of the mitochondria by raising the levels of antioxidants in the mitochondria, increasing the number of mitochondria and neurons of the hippocampus, which is crucial for normal brain function in rats, and reducing the number of reactive oxygen species. I didn't know that there was different species of oxygen, which are damaging to the mitochondria cell structures in high amounts. Oh, there are also ways that ketosis can affect aging related diseases, such as a small study showed that Parkinson's disease patients had positive results following a 28 day ketogenic diet. Another study showed that ketones given orally to adults with Alzheimer's disease every day improved cognition within 90 days, which is really interesting. Larger studies on humans are needed, but these results might demonstrate helpful qualities of ketones and ketosis in protecting us from the decline seen in so many of our fellow humans as they age. The way that we eat affects us over time. It's hard to find a study with people over the span of years, if not decades, on how this will affect them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why it's so difficult. A rat's lifespan is way shorter than a human's. And so how are you gonna find people to get into these studies so that you can prove that it is helpful to eat ketogenically? Maybe by the time that these studies actually do come out, it's going to be decades from now. So what do you do? Do you wait for a study to come out in 20 years or do you just follow what you think is right? That's what we do. It's like, yes, they keep on saying in mice, but that's because there's no studies. You can start this lifestyle however you want. You can start this journey however you want, but at some point after you've lost all the weight, you realize how different you feel. You don't want to go back to the other way that you were eating before. And so come for the weight loss, stay for the other benefits. We would love to know what benefits you guys are feeling. Do you feel younger when you're in ketosis? Do you see any other marked differences in your cognition or memory? Comment below so that the people who are lurking, because we know that there are people that are lurking that are not keto, maybe they will read your comment and they will say, I need to try this now.
because I want to feel better too. And if you'd like to see us talk about other keto topics, you can click on one of the videos on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are, are the Keto, keto Twins, twins signing, signing out. out.